Hey guys, this is Cubation, and this is a short tutorial showing you how to use and import VST plugins into LMMS and use them. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover two different types of VSTs, VST effects and VST plugins. So, a VST plugin is external software written to be an effect on your instrument. So, if you do add effect, it's going to pull up your effects thing. And down at the bottom, it'll actually have your VST plugins, so you can add them through that, except for if you don't have any VST plugins in your plugin folder, then of course nothing's going to show up. So how do you get to your VST plugins folder? Let's go to settings, and this, VST plugin directory, right here. You can set it using that button, so you can change it anytime. This is my folder that I made, especially for my VST plugins. So... I'm just going to go to my VST plugins folder. So I have my VST plugins all right here. These are already ones I've installed. Um, so we can close that. But you have to put your effects in here before they will show up. So G Snap and Camel Crusher are the only two effects I have, the two VST plugins. So since I've already put them in this folder, and since LMMS is looking for them in this folder, it will find them. So usually if you import a VST into that folder, you have to restart LMMS before it will recognize it. Um, um, but those have been in there before I started up this LMMS, so they will show up at the very bottom. Right there, VST, and then it has the name of the VST plugin. So. Here's a nice VST plugin called Camel Crusher. It's a nice distortion compression plugin. Makes it sound nice. So, it does have an effect. So that is how you import a VST plugin, is you just stick it in there, in that folder. Um, everybody's will be different. You'll have to set your own, probably. But then you just look in the effects. So how to import a VSTi or VST instrument. You'll need a Vestige. This is just like any other plugin. You can put down your notes. Except for it doesn't make any noise because it's just a VSTi host. So in order for this to actually work, you have to select a VST. Now, this it opens up a file dialog, so you can pretty much um, uh, have your VST wherever, and it'll still work. However, the default folder that opens up to is your VST plugins folder. So for speed and convenience, you should put your VST instruments in here. So Here's a nice VSTi called TransDrive that I honestly haven't used a lot. I don't really use external VSTs a whole ton, but oh, that's quite big. Um, nice. So <laughs> now it's got a VST loaded. You can just hit play. And okay, I don't know what that is, but anyway, fun, fun, fun. So it's really simple, you just do that. However, when uh, minimizing this gigantic window, of course, VST instruments aren't always uh, this huge. <laughs> when trying to close out this window, don't use that close button. That will just create a memory leak. Now, for people who don't know what that is, it essentially just means it just hides the window from your view and you can never control it again but it's still in the background and it doesn't actually close it so 
this right here, show hide GUI, that's what you want to use to show or hide it because if you use the X button, it'll just slow your computer down the more you use that. So, so with the VST instrument, now you can. Oh man, that's a bit, uh, <laughs> that's what I get for having an old computer, I guess, uh, in fact, actually on my desktop, I have a VSTi, this one I actually am developing, of course, it's in the early stages, and it's not really anything special, but I can use it, and so, Brilliance, yay. So, use that. Also for automation, in uh, version 1.0 and up, you can actually automate these knobs um, through this. Of course, this only has like four knobs because I fail at producing this, so it doesn't recognize all these other knobs as actually being knobs. So maybe this isn't the best... Example. Go back to my VST plugins folder. Just go back to Trance Drive. So, yeah, in previous versions of LMMS, you couldn't automate any of the knobs in a VST plugin. However, version 1.0 and up, you can't just right click and say automate, but you do have this. You can click on it and it opens up this giant, massive. <laughs> Uh, it's all of these knobs basically just without a GUI and so it's kind of confusing to look at and it isn't as easy as oh I want to I want to automate the mount you can't right click on it you do have to find LFO one anyway so it is kind of difficult to use however you can automate stuff See, there we go. There's a knob that actually does something. So, that is nice to be able to automate those. You can actually do the same thing with effects. Oh, that's not an effect. That's going to cause some problems. What the freaking... It still loaded. It it's still... <laughs> it loaded the instrument as an effect. That is weird. Um, not what I'm trying to get at, though. So... Effects. Oh, my. Oh, my. It crashed. Cancel. Oh, great. Well, I guess that kind of ends this tutorial short, but... Anyway, at least you know how to import VSTs and VSTIs into LMMS. Alright, thanks guys. If it was helpful, like, subscribe, etc. Recommend to friends who also use LMMS. Um, I will be posting more tutorials in the future, so be keeping an eye out for those. Alright, thanks guys.